Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and I'm here with my weekly Divine Masculine Energy check-in and I'm feeling so excited because of the messages that have come through. It's very, very positive. There is a shift in the energy. I don't know if you can feel it in the air. We're coming up to the 20th of March, which is the um, equinox and we're coming into Aries season and we're in Pisces season at the moment, which is that dreamy, you know, floaty quality. But when we come into Aries, that's ruled by Mars, the action planet. Okay, so things might actually move forward more in the physical world. But there are definitely shifts coming in here. Okay, so let's get your messages. So this is Divine Masculine Energy. So we've got Storm Warning. Door to personal healing and happiness. Fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra. Victory. Anxiety. Blossoming abundance. Rest and rejuvenation. The temple path. Patience. If I can get the cards up. Second chakra, which is the sacral. Man holding a heart and woman holding a heart and the world. I've not had the man and the woman holding the heart come out um, in my readings. I don't think ever actually in this deck. I don't think I ever have. So you can see there is definitely love here in this connection here. And the masculines are opening up their hearts to this. So let's clarify this. So with Storm Warning, that reminds me of the Tower card in the tarot okay so there could be something occurring now in your masculine's world something that's really shaking him up really getting him to really dig deep to you know change his life to change something is it in his life something could come to light in his life that he wasn't aware of that you know he's going to change his perspective on things in a big way but it will be different for everybody. So why is the storm warning here? So we've got seven of wands. So that's defensive energy. So your masculine could have been feeling very defensive with his guard up. Not, not wanting to open his heart to love. Not wanting to express love. You know, in any way protecting himself here. And this tower moment is going to come in. And as I say, things will change. And then we've got door to personal healing and happiness. So it's going to trigger some sort of massive healing in him. We've got a beautiful rainbow. When he goes through that door, he does that work on himself. He will do that healing. He will find his own happiness. He will find happiness there. We've got Knight of Coins energy. So your masculine could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You can see that this knight is actually wearing a lot of armour. So he was very protective of himself. And I feel, you know, symbolically he's going to let down his guard. He's going to, you know, get rid of the armour and be more open. So we then have fourth chakra, heart chakra with Archangel Raphael. His heart is actually going to be opening if it hasn't opened. He's going to be opening up to give and receive love. This is beautiful energy. We've got three of swords. Yes, there's been heartbreak here. There's been, you know unhappy situations in love broken heartedness but he's you know he's opening up he's having that fearlessness to open up again to love and at the moment he's maybe i ate a source energy he may be stuck up in his head about this um but his heart chakra is opening he's opening and he wants that victory we've got the victory card he's wanting victory in his life wow We've got Queen of Wands energy. So you could be an a uh, fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, or it sees you in that energy. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be very successful. You're very passionate. You're very, um, you know, assertive in your life. You go after what you want and you could be attracting a lot of attention and your masculine could be noticing this or could be sensing this energetically. So he's feeling anxious right now. He's feeling a bit anxious about that. And we've got Knight of Wands energy. So this is that passion, having that passion, wanting to come forward in a passionate way here, I feel. And he's wanting that blossom in abundance. 
with you and in his life. Why is that here? Yeah, he wants a new beginning. He wants, you know, a new cycle in his life. He wants to start afresh, a new beginning. And we've got rest and rejuvenation. So you can see the image in this card. Someone is meditating, they're going within. I feel he's really going to start connecting with his intuition, his higher self, his guides. He's going to rest and rejuvenate. He could have been working hard. This could be the tower moment. Something happened maybe to stop him, you know, because he was working much too hard and basically on burnout. And we've got nine of cups. His, his wish fulfillment, he, he's wanting this wish fulfillment with his feminine here. And we've got temple path energy. So again, I feel he is doing that work on himself. You know, he's connecting with his guides and angels for guidance here. And we've got Knight of Cups. So he's getting in touch with his feelings. He could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel it's more about wanting to express that feeling, those feelings, that love, with some sort of romantic gesture. But he knows he's got patience here. You know, this is like the Temperance card. He knows he needs to work on his energies and balance himself out. And although she's holding a clock there, it reminds me of the um, the Ace of Pentacles energy, like that offer. So why is that here? Ten of Swords, yeah. He's been through a lot, you know, he's been going through it. Mental anguish, we had the anxiety card, maybe depression, sleepless nights. But he's coming out of that, the Ten is coming out of that to a new beginning. And we've got him holding his heart here. Seven of Swords, yeah, in the past he wasn't being honest. He had these feelings, but he wasn't being honest about it. He was, you know, maybe even to himself, he wasn't admitting these feelings to himself even. And, oh, second chakra. The second, what happened there? The second chakra is about that, um, the sacral chakra, the creative centre, passion, sexuality, sensuality. I feel very much you are connected uh, with your masculine on this passionate sacral chakra, chakra, if I can speak, nine of coins energy. So you've both been in that independent energy. You've both been doing well. You've both been working on yourselves. You're both in a good place financially right now. And here's the woman holding a heart. And you may have expressed this love to your masculine or he's hoping that you have this love for him. Let's put them next to each other now. And you can see it's 44 and 45. Three of coins. You're wanting to work together. I feel you're going to want to work together in the future on some sort of project. And again, we've got the world card. That's come up twice. A new cycle, a new beginning. You know, a new chance in life. A new start. Wow. And we've got Ace of Cups. So a new beginning in love here. And a definitely new beginning in love. And he sees you as the Queen of Cups. You may be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or he just sees you in that loving, nurturing energy. He sees you as somebody who would make a good wife, a good mum. And you are a wish fulfillment with the star energy there. Okay, beautiful messages. Absolutely beautiful messages. And I had a song come in my head and I've forgotten it again now. If I think of it, I'll put it down, the link down below. So let's get some energies for your masculine. So we've got fearless, brave, feels, feels the fear and do, does it anyway. So even though he may feel a bit nervous about coming forward, he's wanting to overcome that. And he has guilt, regret and shame over past behaviours, things that were said and done maybe. And, you know, we had the abundant card. He wants that abundance in his life with love, home, family, with a relationship. And in the past, he wasn't looking after himself. You know, he was not in a good place. And he's feeling compassionate now, loving, giving, kind. He wants to show you this side of himself. And he could be very professional, very career driven. He was somebody more focused on his career than love. But he's wise, he's gained a lot of experience, he's learned a lot of lessons and he's feeling strong mentally, physically and emotionally right now. So when he feels strong enough, when he overcomes that fear, I feel there will be movement forward here. So we've got blame energy, I accept responsibility for my well-being. So in the past, maybe he was in that blame mode, he was blaming other people for his own 
you know, situation, what was going on with him. He wasn't taking on that responsibility. And now I feel that he is taking on that responsibility for his own health. We had that not looking after himself, you know. So I feel he's taking the responsibility now for his own well-being. And he's had periods of loneliness. He's felt lonely without his feminine. But he's he's realised there is a connection between you, this energetic connection. And he knows that he's never really alone. And maybe you are on a friendship level with your masculine and, you know, this is very important to him, but he wants to build on that, I feel. And he wants to have that courage. We've got the courage here. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence, as I say, with this card. It's feel the fear and do it anyway. He wants to have that courage to come forward. And he's he's had grief over this connection. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And again, we've got the orange of the sacral chakra here. He has grieved the loss of this connection. These regions are for people in separation, no contact, by the way. So he has grieved this loss. And it is sometimes only by losing something or someone that we realise what they truly do mean to us. Yeah, and he's going through a transformation right now. And he's going through this transition. He's going to be looking at things in a, a new way, a different way from now on. And he's likes the originality of his feminine he sees originality and he's realizing that he needs to be his authentic self in in the world maybe he wasn't being truly authentic and he wants that intimacy with his feminine he wants to be intimate but not just in a sexual way in emotional mental way as well to really share yourselves with each other your souls and two and six is the number eight the sign of abundance the number of abundance and again, we've got the second chakra again. So I do feel you're very connected at the the sacral chakra. You may have sexual, sensual visions or connections with each other. You're feeling that energy. This is what's helping this connection to grow, even though you're apart right now. And we've got the sixth chakra, which is the third eye. And I feel that the third eye is awakening and opening in your masculine. He's really connecting to his intuition and his higher self, as I said. And he's wanting this union, he's wanting this sacred union with his feminine. And, you know, he wants to have this, he wants that in his life. It's such beautiful energies. He does see that he is the divine masculine here. I don't know how to respond to you right now because I feel your rejection. So as I said, there is that fear within him about not knowing how his approaches will will be received i miss the taste of your me and me on you so there is a very sexual energy here but there's more to it all of me hungers for you to me you are flawless soulmate so he's feeling he may not know the term twin flame some of you are soulmates some of you are twin flames but he's definitely feeling this connection and only you can feel this effing empty space so he's realized as i said in this time apart what you actually mean to him my feelings for you scare the shit out of me. So he's overwhelmed with these feelings. So what does he want to say? I want us to live together. I've been looking at places for us. I desperately want to talk to you, but I just don't know what to say after ghosting you for so long. So this is that fear of coming forward after this period of silence. And with one look, you made me believe in love. How is that even possible? So even though they may have denied their feelings to you, deep down they have these feelings. So I'm just going to get some healing messages for the masculine and then we're going to get some divine messages. So we've got be open-minded, do not judge others on their choices in life, stay open to new ideas, new learning, new things, new people, new experiences. So I feel the masculine, you know, was a bit closed-minded before intuition tune into your intuition the more you use it the better it gets so i feel he's starting to tap into that intuition side of him that feminine side of him and magic and miracles believe and you will attract into your life it's back to miracle and life can be full of magic if you let it so i think he's he's scared to hope he's got that fear right now but i believe if he can overcome that he will realize what he can attract in so finally, some divine messages. We've got happy times ahead. Love of a lifetime. Sacred union of two souls. 
and commitment wedding and marriage i couldn't believe it when these cards came out it was just so beautiful so for some of you this is ahead there is going to be you know a reunion or some of you are going to meet your person for the first time that is your soulmate your twin flame and it will lead to some sort of commitment eventually and it'll be the love of a lifetime i mean you can't say any better than that it's absolutely beautiful reading so sending you lots of love and blessings take care bye for now